Tonight we are talking with friends and people in the community who are talking about and grieving for 27-year-old Jameson Ritter, the Cleveland police officer shot and killed in the line of duty yesterday. Our Annabelle Childers is live at the 3rd District Police Station where people are leaving their tributes. Yeah, Annabelle, uh, I was out there yesterday and we know that memorial, it just continues to grow. Matt, Christy, it really does. You can see the tributes behind me are just towering. More and more people are coming by to leave flowers, to leave notes. I think people really just want to show that the sacrifice Officer Ritter made matters. He's a genuine dude. He don't have to do what he do. And to, to, to lay it all on the line, like, how many people willing to do that? He's a real superhero. Hours before Officer Jameson Ritter was killed, George Freeman says he was here on this street responding to a disturbance call. He was just shooting off fireworks and they got a noise complaint. But Ritter wasn't a stranger to George. He says their friendship began earlier on a day in May when Officer Ritter and his partner stopped by his house on East 85th. They ended up eating a meal with George's family and letting George's niece and nephew sit in a patrol car. Hey. So when George learned it was Officer Ritter shot and killed in the line of duty on the 4th of July, it was sobering. Me and probably my friends um, that experienced him um, still are just really taking it in right now. Like, like, wow. The news of Ritter's death traveling rapidly from the streets of Cleveland, where Officer Ritter patrolled, to New York, where he grew up. I just, it, it's, it's hard to fathom that I won't ever see him again because of the positive impact that he had on my life and his family continues to have on my life. Jack Schwab says he met Jameson Ritter in freshman year of high school. Since then, the two have been best friends. He was scholarly. He was athletic. He was a good friend. He was social. He was a soldier. He was an officer. He was... So many different things that I think he excelled at. Jack, like so many who knew Ritter, emphasizes his unwavering commitment to service. I think that he really never saw his service as a job. I think he really saw it as a duty. And I think that he felt while he was capable of helping people, that he was obligated to do so. And now, as Jack and other friends of Officer Ritter wrestle with profound grief, they're trying their best to honor him. I think Jameson would want the world to slow down and to really see people as people and not just as situations or sides. I was honored to like meet him like because he's, he's what all communities should have. I'll say that. Now, I've spent today messaging back and forth with different friends of Officer Ritter, and there are some adjectives in common. They keep saying he is selfless, he was determined, that he was the friend that everyone wanted to have, that he could make anyone laugh. And as you can see here by this tribute, so many people in the community are deeply, deeply feeling this loss. Yeah, you can, you can feel it from the friends and those who knew and loved him and those he served. We appreciate you bringing us that report. Thanks a lot, Annabelle. Three News has learned Jamison Ritter is the son of a, of a retired police officer in the town of Greece, New York, and his father is also a hero in that community. This is video from NBC's WHC in Rochester. Ritter's father, John Ritter, is credited with saving lives on Christmas Eve in 2012. A man at that time lit a fire, then began shooting and killing responding firefighters. John was on his way to work and used his car to shield bystanders. Uh, coming across the gunfire. He retired in 2013 and received multiple awards and medals.